Do you know what I see when I see nature? That's where I split in half. That's where I become a schizophrenic. I see what you see, how we destroy it, how we pollute it, and there's a big resistance in me. I need to do something. I need to change everybody. But then there's the other side of me who sees this. Looking at nature, when you see so much of it as you do from this viewpoint, it gives me the feeling that we are kind of foolish to think or to believe that we can destroy nature, that we can do anything to destroy this amazing, beautiful place. Just because we can make it unfriendly environment for humans to live in, it doesn't mean that we can destroy it. Nature cannot be destroyed. It's so big. Nature is so much bigger than our little ego minds. And do we really think we can control it? Is there anything we can do to control it? History repeats itself. It tells us over and over again that as soon as we try to control it, it does something to prove us wrong. An earthquake, whatever, a storm, we cannot do anything about it. It's so much stronger than us. We cannot control anything. We cannot control a simple mosquito. Not a simple ant, not a bird. Not to speak of, we cannot control another human being. Why would we think that we can control this? This. That's not how nature works. We are a part of nature. We are a part of the evolution. And evolution has always worked like that. That when something does no longer serve the evolution, it will be left behind. We do no longer serve the evolution as we live now. That's how nature works. We could destroy the environment so far as nature care that we can no longer live in it. We can destroy nature so much that it will not no longer be a friendly environment for humans and animals to live on. This is nature. If we pollute it so much that we can no longer live in it for five billion years, we can... We, nature doesn't care. As soon as we are gone, we are the only one that perceives time as we do. As soon as we are gone, nature will recover. As a matter of fact, it doesn't need to recover. It is as it is. And if it needs to evolve in the same way that we can live on it again, even if it takes billions of billions of years, do you think nature cares? There's nothing bad, nothing good in nature. It's only what serves evolution. And if evolution says we're not going to live here, then we probably won't. But we do have something to say in this. We have a choice. We are the only living species as we know of that have the ability to choose and to think about our choices. So there's one part of me seeing this huge awakening, this huge love, and I want to be a part of it. I see humans wake up to stop doing things out of unconsciousness, like the meat industry, 
today. It's a huge unconsciousness. As a matter of fact, I don't think, I think most people wouldn't support it if they were to live close to it and see it every day. This is what you are going to eat now and this is how it's been treated. Some people will, some people won't. We have the choice though. And by keeping the meat industry as it is now, the choice is simple. We will no longer be able to live on the planet. Hundred years ago, the population was one and a half billion or something like that. Now it's about seven billions. <coughs> you do the math. In 50 years, we're probably around 12 billions or even if it's just 10 billions, we probably would will have cut down all the rainforest. 90% of all the rainforest that's been cut down so far is due to animal agriculture. And with 10 billion people all want to eat as much meat as we do today. No rainforest left. And we all know what happens when there's no rainforest left the planet's lungs. We will not be able to, to live here anymore. Nobody will. But nature doesn't care. It will recover.